today, this is going to be a fun video. Why is that? Because we're going to do a little battle of the one speeds. Probably the two most popular. Castaplast Berg. Flight ratings are right here. And in case you can't read. Speed of glide. Speed of glide. Speed of one. A glide of one. A turn of zero and a fade of two. Castaplast Berg. Next disc, look at this. Thank you, Alex, from Win Runner Discs. This thing is awesome. This is the MVP glitch. Flight ratings are right here. One, seven, zero, zero. This ought to be interesting. I haven't even thrown this yet. I threw Kern Dogs, I have not thrown mine. I bagged this. So, I'm just gonna get into this. I'm not even gonna talk anymore. A little battle, little nine set course here. A little battle between the, the two. And just to keep you informed, we are having a Berg Battle video coming very soon where you, the subscribers and Instagram followers, can kind of like place your bet, so to speak, on whether I'm going to win or Rockets is going to win the Berg Battle. We might even do a glitch battle, but he's got to get a glitch first. And there will be a giveaway, a very nice giveaway for whoever the winner is. So stay tuned, and I'll be letting you know when that Berg battle happens with the giveaway. I'm Aaron Jamison, and this is Chain Raider Disc Golf. Okay, uh, here we are at one. That's correct, 156 feet. Alphabetical order. The Berg and then the Glitch. I think it's just sharp. Gotta love it. All right, here we go. And there is a slight head breeze. Berg. Berg goes very straight. It usually holds whatever line you put it on. Anheuser, it will stay on Anheuser. Heiser, stay on Heiser. Flat release. It just goes, and depending on the height you give it, will determine if it fades on you or not. I don't want to get it dirty. Glitch time. Interesting. Here we are at two, 220 feet away. Berg's up. Um, before I go any further, this is 172 grams in weight. That is 152 grams. So this got it by like 20 grams. And you can definitely feel the weight difference and weight transfer in your hand when you're throwing it. All right, Berg. I don't know why I threw it so low. This beauty. Give it a height. Try a hyzer flip, see if that helps. Oh crap. Wow. Okay. That's a different story from the first throw with it. Wow, that just took, that thing just took off. We are definitely outside of circle one. Ah. 
Almost. Look at that shot with the glitch. Some bird shat it all over that thing. It's freaking gross. <laughs> Here we are, at three hundred fifty-five feet. If that is correct, it's right there. You have multiple lines you can do here. Come in that way, something understable, around this way, the highs are in, or just go straight. I am going to throw this on a hyzer and try to anhyzer this one. And the gully, a nice big gully here. Wasn't too much of a hyzer. All right, time for the glitch. No, oh, no. Well, I got a cut roll. And that was absolutely horrible. Oh boy. Nasty bird, it's just pooping all over the place. Here we are at four. 155 feet. Here we go. Edwin. That's a putt. Oh my God. It just went and it's over there somewhere. Oh boy. It did it again. Oh. All right, Bert. Go. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here we are at five. It's up there right at the edge of the sunlight, 147 feet. Here we go with the berg. Mm. Should put a little bit more right. All right, here we go.
My freaking word. You put that thing on hyzer, it flips up and it just goes. Seven glide. Whew. This isn't going to be easy. Right next to the camera. Here we are at six, 140 feet. Right in between them two trees. Here goes the bird. I don't know why I keep throwing them low. All right, here we go. Round. Might be able to uh, squeak out two birdies. Oh, that's a putt. That freaking headwind just lifted the, the, the glitch right up and over. Watch this, a real life tap in. That's a tap in. Ooh. Okay, here we go, Berg. 197 feet, if that's correct. We got the gully, get the gully going on. It's great. Just drop. Boom. Glide monster. There's no doubt that the glitch has way more glide than a bird. No doubt. Oh, are you kidding me? Toasty out here. Woo. There, we finally got one. We finally got one in. There we go. Okay, this one here is perfect for both of these. It would be so cool if I got an ace. It's 137 feet, we are at eight. Perfect distance for these. I gotta come up with a name for that disc. It just doesn't want to calm down. It doesn't want to sit. It's like a rowdy kid. Yeah, Berg. There we go. Two under, I think. <laughs> Glitch. 
Rowdy. Here we are at nine hundred and ninety one feet. Berg, get some. In this chewed up dirt pad. This thing is chewed up. Horrible. Nope. Oh my goodness, that really hazard out. Glitch. Get in there. Oh, I think that thing went gliding on by. Hot. This is not a give me. And I don't putt with the Berg, so it's kind of frustrating me a little bit because the thumb track for putting screws me up. Boom! Boom! That was a... Finally. Finally we're getting the putts in there. Here we go. There you go. All right, let's get up close and personal with the Berg and the Glitch. So here we have the Castaplast Berg, and it is in the K1 soft plastic. Very grippy. And of course, we got this thumb track here that some people love, others hate. Me personally, I don't mind it at all, especially on the flick. At first, it kind of felt a little odd, but it rolls off the thumb so nicely. And contrary to what people say, this disc has glide. What happens is at the end of the flight, as it starts slowing down, the disc just wants to drop, which can be beneficial for some shots. But yes, this does have some very sneaky glide at times. There's the underside, I'll cover my number, I don't need prank phone calls. There's a little bit of flashing here, it's really no big deal. It's not sharp at all. A couple hits on the dirt, it's, it just it goes away. very round edge and it is comfortable in hand I bagged it since the day I got it it will hold any line it'll hold hyzer throw it straight give it some time it'll go straight and it'll, you will get the fade and if you want it to go right for you just put it on some Anheuser and this thing will go right very versatile disc I use it for approaches and that is it I do not putt with this disc there you go, the cast of Plastberg and the K1 soft plastic. And here we have the glitch. This disc took some getting used to. If you throw it flat, it will turn over. Uh, if you need to get distance with this thing, you're gonna have to put it on hyzer and get this thing to flip up and it goes. Now I'd like to get more time with this. I just, I, I've, Threw it for the video. That was it. I don't bag this thing. I bag the burger. I do not bag this. I wasn't even planning on bagging this. But I would like to get some more time with it and just to, to see how it reacts to my throws and see if it's got some use to um, actually make my bag. Just like the burg, it's got a very round edge. There's nothing sharp on this disc. There's no flashing. There's nothing. It feels great in hand. But hey, once again, back to the die job. Thank you, Alex. This thing is awesome. There you have it. Berg and the MVP glitch. So that does it for the Berg versus glitch battle. That was a fun time, let me tell you. <laughs> Especially with this, getting to know this disc. Um, keep your eyes out for the giveaway that's going to go along with the Berg battle between me and Rockets. I will be throwing a small video up on here explaining what's going on and also on Instagram. If you do not follow us on Instagram, jump on there if you're on Instagram and follow right here. Chain Raider underscore disc golf. Hit that follow button or whatever it is. Subscribe is here on YouTube.
follow. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and looking at this beauty. Link for Windrunner Discs will be in the description below. Check him out. He does amazing work. Well, that wraps this up. I'm Aaron Jameson. This is Chain Raider Disc Golf. Until next time, I hope everybody is staying strong, staying safe, and most of all, God bless. Take care.